Welcome, this is Crime Queen. If you are joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we are having lots of fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. We have been working with the word mirror, which equals 10, like sacrifice, like kingdom and spirit and waters, when we add the two waters, the waters above and the waters below. And so there is so many aspects to number 10. We are saying that number 10 really is, in essence, it's just is, like we say, it is energy. It is um, energy. In fact, it'd be interesting to do the numerical value for energy. Somehow, I don't know why I think it is number seven. But also, before I continue, because the point I really wanted to make, which I um, in the last presentation, was that when God said uh, God created um, the heavens with his hands, for instance, we see the word hands, which I have done numerical values for these features of our bodies, our head, our hands. So there's the head, that's one aspect of nine. Nine, 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 and our feet is also nine. Now that is taken in consideration, not foot, but feet, like it will where Christ was crucified. This is giving a depiction of the image of four points. Okay, so when we see these four points, four nines of 36, which we have four nines in this word mirror, the word mirror is giving us a clear depiction of ourselves in this case. It also has that six that goes over that zero. It's like saying zero is not or nothing. In fact, not um is equals let's just do n o t that's two six that's eight and that's 13 so not is 13 three in fact 13 when we add one plus three is four so that is saying that four in essence here not six is also saying that four points that i am talking about this is us here. So we are number six. When we do the numerical value, I think for um, man, or is it man? Man is 10, I think. Let's do this. Let's do this. M-A-N. Okay. Man is um, 10, like it were with, um, like it were with Adam. So we are... Uh, um, all perceived as man, but of course, um, the knot here, going back to this knot, it's like say, this is, we are the north, south, east, and west. So this is what we are looking at right here. So basically, this is the six. We are that. And if we were to even add that four and six together, we'd still get that one zero. That's not. Okay. Let's, um, but basically, um, with, I want to just um, make it clear in the sense that we see that nine births newness, those nines, it's like it births newness. And um Number 10, so when Christ said the kingdom is at hand, I get in the um, distinct impression, it's like saying number 10 is at your hands. Everything you create is at your hands. So number 10, the kingdom is really at your hands. When he said the kingdom of God, the kingdom of the, the kingdom is the kingdom of God is at hand. That's what it is. The kingdom of God is at hand. So basically it's saying that number 10 is really at our hands. Whatever we do, and the word do also equals 10. Okay, let's think of waters. So so whatever we do, when we do something, I leave the pens exposed for too long. Okay. Let's try this. So when we do DO, this is 4 and 6. In fact, this is in direct correlation with mirror. 
So to do something is really to mirror what God has done or is to mirror sacrifice. Everything we do has an aspect of that which is feeding, which has um, a reef, and which has a cold aspect to it. But I like the word ice at the end because it tells us it can melt away. Hence it is said Christ can melt away all our um, angst and all our sins and it can just be melted away. So let's just look at this here. This is nine and nine. Um, this is six here, and ice equals that's um, five plus three is eight. Eight and eight plus nine is um, seventeen. So one plus seven is eight. So and just to double check this, so that would be ten nineteen. So if we did it like this, yes, that would be 19 and it would be 10. Okay, so that is that is correct. Okay, so it would if we add this as we have done in blocks like this, it will give us 19, which shows us numbers from 1 to 9. Now that correlates with the word Eden as well. Okay, but let's keep in this here. We see that... God or Christ in Christ's teaching when he says the um there was the that was the phrase I think that was or they would go the kingdom of God is at hand the kingdom of God is at hand so we see hand and God of course hand is eight no hand is nine and um God is eight so when we add nine and eight together we'd get seventeen and we would see how again 1 plus 7 we have just done this 1 plus 7 is um, 8 right here so so God is actually ice as well <laughs> so God is actually can we can sense God as cold as ice but he melts away and then we get back into that sack he keeps us warm again. So we go through that cycle of um, melting and going back into this um, place. And of course, so we are in constant movement. That's what we need to recognize. Hence the word do. But I love that because it really encourages me to literally know that my hands, whether... Um, metaphorically or whether physically that the hands we create with our hands hence it is said the fingers are what um we we uh, or decorate or we find the details we create the details with our fingers now the word finger as i said also equals five which means that represents eve so there we see hand and finger is really one and the same, just like the word in. So hand, hand is nine, let's do nine. And finger, of course, of course fingers would be six. Let's, we can do fingers. But I wanted to draw on that first um, presentation in the Bible of the first word when it says in the beginning. So we see like five. So five plus nine is 14 and one plus four is five, which takes us back to Eve. So this is where God says, I am the beginning, beginning and the end. So beginning is hand. So here we have number nine equals beginning and end equals five. So this is where we see how um, God, or we could say God here and Eve come together because nine is where God comes in with I open, number I, number eight as the I, and number like this I here. So this I here, it equals nine, but it also has an eye. It's a literal eye. 
So I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you have found some kind of sense in this that we can use this. Remember that the hands are representation of creation. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, isn't that delicious? Yes, I, I really want to say this again and not meaning to be. The hands are representation of creation. It never comes out the same, no matter how much I say it anymore. But, you know, it came from um, a place. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the hands are a representation of creation. And that's it. So I better just end on it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you have found this fun. If you like this presentation, click the like button and share because this is how we do it. We share to actualize in self love. Stay blessed, stay bright, be a field, be ignited because we are planting new seeds and spill over with love. Thank you for watching.